Hello. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm fine. How good. you been? I'm good, I'm good. I'm actually stream I'm streaming live right now. Is that okay? Okay. Alright, I just had a quick uh survey for you. I got two questions. You ready? Yes. Alright, the first question is uh do you know for sure if you'll be in heaven when you die? All right, and the second question is why? Why should God let you into heaven? Yeah. What? The second question is why should God let you into heaven? It's why. Yeah, tell me why should yeah. God let you into heaven? Okay, I'm just wondering. You say that you you say you know for sure that you'll be in heaven. So my question is, why should God let you go to heaven? Send me a message, brother. Okay, well I want to faith coming by hearing. So it says that uh, Jesus wept, and uh, he 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 went to his own, and his own received him not. So he went to the cross. He paid for all the sins of the world. He died, and he was buried, and he rose on the third day, and he was seen alive. And uh, Jesus is God manifesting in the flesh. So if you believe on that message, that's how you go to heaven. And that's why you should go to heaven. So I just want you to know that it's not about repentance. Ephesians 2 and 8 it says, for by grace are you saved through faith and that not of yourself. See, repentance will be of yourself. So it's not of yourself. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any measure boast. John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. And uh, Romans 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 11.29, it says, For the gifts and calling of God are without repentance. Yes, sir. The gift of eternal life is without repentance. I believe because Jesus died for me. Yeah, but did he stay dead? Jesus, he died for me. Right, he died for the sins of the whole world, but did he stay dead? Why? Did he stay in the grave? Jesus, I'm, I'm, Jesus is alive. Yes, brother. Yeah, Jesus is alive. Yes. So he did. He didn't stay dead. So that's why. That's why we got to believe the full gospel. So again, Jesus went into his own and his own received him not. He went into the Jews and they condemned him. They killed him on the cross. And that's where Jesus paid for all the sins of the whole world. And then they buried him. They put him in a grave. They, they buried him in a sepulcher. And then he rose on the third on the third day. He bodily rose on the third day and they seen him alive. He had hand chosen witnesses that saw him alive. So in Yeah, so Jesus is Hello. God. Yeah, Jesus is God. Jesus Hello. said that I will raise up this temple on the third day. So he is God Almighty. So that's what we must believe to go to heaven. All right, so John John 3.16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth, believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Acts 16.30 and 31, And brought them out and said, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? And they said, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved in thy house. So make sure you believe that gospel. That's how you go to heaven. Believe that from the heart. Hello? Yeah, you... Hello, Pastor. Yeah, do you know for sure if you'll be in heaven? Are you... Praise the Lord. Pastor said that she, she don't hear you well, so you can send him a message. Okay, can you hear me? But he that... In, you know that Jesus died for him because the Bible tells us in the book of John 16. Right. What's Jesus your name? Me. What's your name, ma'am? My name is Lillian. All right. And do you know for sure if My, you'll be in heaven? I'm Tyrese. My name is Lillian E.G. All right. I'm Tyrese. Do you, do you know for sure if you'll be in heaven? Yeah. 
I don't and, know. All right, and why? Why should God let you into heaven? Hello? Yeah, tell me why. Why Why are you going to heaven? I believe that Jesus died for me in the cross. Because the Bible tells us Jesus died for, for us. In the book of John 16, verse 1 up to, two, uh, All right. up to 3. But that's not the that's yeah. not the full gospel. So you got to believe that he died for you after he was rejected yeah. by you got to believe the full gospel so he was so he died for us on the cross for all the sins of the whole world yeah, after he after he was rejected he, so he was rejected by his own people yeah yeah so this is let me quote you the full gospel because so he went into his own Jesus will come back again. yeah can i can i tell you the full gospel that you must believe to go to heaven Yeah, let me let me tell you the full gospel. It's that Jesus was rejected by the Jews. He went into his own, and his own received him not. So he went to the cross, and he died for all the sins of the world, but then he was also buried. They buried him in a grave, in a sepulcher, and then he rose on the third day, and they saw him alive. So he had witnesses that saw him alive after his death. And Jesus is God. He's God in the flesh. He's God Almighty. You believe that full gospel? I believe Amen. Well, that's the full gospel. You must believe the full gospel. So John one eleven. Yeah. it says in this John, yeah, it says in John one eleven that his own received him not. And uh, it says that, uh, but as many as received him to them, gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe, yeah. even to them that yeah, believe on his name. The to the sons of God. Yeah, it says even to them that believe on his name. So what's his name? What's the, yeah, what's the name of God? The name of God. Yeah, tell me. The, the, the Bible tells us that Jesus, in the beginning there was a God, and there, and there, there was a word, and the word was God. Amen. And, the, and, and Jesus, yeah. Amen. Yeah, the word was with God and the word was God. Amen. And Jesus, it says that the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Amen. And it says it says in Isaiah 9, 6, it's called, it, it calls him the everlasting father in Isaiah 9, 6, too. Amen. So it sounds like you're a believer. Uh, it says in uh, 1 John 5, 7, that there are three that bear record in heaven, the father, the word, the Holy Ghost, and these three are one. But let me ask you let me ask you another important question. Do you believe that you have to yeah. repent in order to be saved? Do I believe? Yeah, I, let me ask you let me ask you. Do you believe that you have to repent first in order to be saved? In order to go to heaven. You have yeah, to... I believe I, I believe. I believe that you, you repent for that. Well, I that's believe. well that's I want to educate you because it doesn't repentance doesn't mean to turn from sin because you can look at Jonah 3, 8, and 9. It said that God turned and repented. So if God repented, then that means that God sinned or something like that. And we know that God can't sin. He's perfect. So God, God, sin, he, God repented a lot in the Old Testament. So again, repentance, it doesn't mean to turn from sin. Repentance is a change of mind or a change of direction. And then also salvation, yeah. salvation has nothing to do with repentance. If you look at Romans 11, verse 29, it says, for the gifts and calling of God are without repentance. So that's why you look at Ephesians yeah. 2 and 8. It says Ephesians 2 and 8 for by, I, for by I, grace. I, I know this, this, this repentance is the, is the most that, that thing that we can do because so we, if we repent, God also repent for us. So we, we must we must live what we are doing. The wrong thing we are doing, we must repent before God. Well, is there is there a verse that says we must repent before God? Because there is no verse that says that in the King James Bible. There is no verse that requires us to repent. There's none. If you look at Second Timothy two twenty five. 
It's, it actually says that God... 2 Timothy 2 verse 25. 2 yeah. Timothy 2 verse 25. Yep. Look at 2nd... Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, look at 2 Timothy 2 25. God gives repentance only to the believer. Yeah. So he's going to actually grant us repentance. So God, God brings all the increase. He wants us to believe. If you look at Acts 16 30, it said, what must I do to be saved? And they said, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And thou shalt be saved in thy house. So that's what we must do to be saved. We must believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Not repent. Repent is a change of mind. And we're saved by faith. We're saved by grace through faith. And uh, Romans 10 said that man believe it with the heart. So repentance is of the mind. Repentance is to change of mind. So again, that has that cannot save you. That has nothing to do with salvation. You changing your mind does not save you. You have to believe from the heart, the full gospel that Jesus paid for all your sins. He paid for you repenting over and over. Like if, if you had to repent again and again and again, Jesus paid for that. So we all fall short. That's why it says in Romans 3, 4, that there is no one good, no, not one. There's no one righteous. Romans 4 says we have to be accounted righteousness. By belief, Abraham believed God and it was accounted unto him for righteousness. So you can't be righteous by repenting every day. It's not going to save you. So that's why I want to educate you and I want you to believe the true gospel. Okay. Yeah, Acts 16.30, it said, what must I do to be saved? And they said, believe. Please, uh, Acts 16, verse. Yeah, Acts 16, 30 and 31. 31. 31. Okay. 31. So, 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 they say. So, they say, believe. On the Lord believe Jesus. on the Lord Jesus Christ. And you will be saved. You and yeah. And you and your house. Yes. So that's what we must that do. It doesn't. That one, that one was. Said, yeah. Said yeah. Was yeah. It doesn't say yeah. repent. It said. It's, look at. Look at thirty. Look at verse. Yeah. Look at verse thirty. What must I do? Thirty. Yeah. And he brought them out and said. What must I do to be saved? And read the next one. 31. The, ne the next one. So they said, believe, believe. On the Lord Jesus. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved. Amen. And you, will, and you and your household. Amen. Now go real quick. Switch over to Acts 13. Acts 13, 38 and 39. Yes. Acts 13. Acts 13. Yep. Acts 13. Yep. Verse. Acts 13. Verse 38 and 39. 38. Yeah, read it for me. Amen. This is a blessing. I want you to. I want you to believe God's word. Don't believe me. Believe God's word. Okay. Okay. I'm. Um, Acts. 13 verse 28. No, 38. 30. No, yeah, 38 and 39. 38, 38. 38, 38. 38. Yeah. Therefore, let him, therefore, let be known to be your brethren that through this man is, is preached to you. The forgiveness of sins. And by him, everyone who believes in is justified from all things from which you, you will call not to be justified by the law of Moses. Now, I'll say this. Um, that sounds like a different version because it says that by him, all that believe are justified from all things. So it sounds like some words are different. I encourage you to find a King James Bible because your Bible, it probably has some other errors in it. Uh, go to Hebrews, go to Hebrews 1 and 8. 
I can probably, yeah, I can probably find an error in your Bible. In your Bible, I want you to get a King James. He Hebrews, Hebrews one, yeah, Hebrews one and eight. One. Yep, Hebrews chapter one, verse eight. Hebrews chapter one, verse eight. Or is that the one I'm looking for? Hebrews. Let me see. But the son of but the son he say, Your throne, O God, is forever and ever. Okay, so let's of Let's go, I'm sorry, let's go to Hebrews, I think it's four. Let me double check. Hebrews? Uh chapter four. Yeah, sorry about that. It's Hebrews 4 and 8. Chapter 4, verse 8. Right. Let's let's see what that say. I'm going to find out what, what kind of Bible you have. I think you have a... I think your Bible has errors. Yes, I have a Bible. I have a Bible. For if Joshua yeah. had given... The, yeah? Yeah, no, that's, that's wrong. If I look at... I'm looking at my King James right here. Hebrews four and eight. It says for it says for if Jesus. looking for King James. Yeah, because because they change the name. Yeah, the devil the devil has um, came along and man has translated God's words. This Bible so this Bible so is a is a King James version. Is that a new is that a new King James? Yeah. It's yeah, the that's the wrong King one. James. That's the wrong one. Don't don't get a new. That's that's tampered with. So the new the new King James is bad too. You need a you need original King James because look at Hebrews four and eight. My Bible in the King James it says it says for if Jesus had given them rest. So the, again they changed the name to Joshua, and Joshua is the son of Nun. Um, that's why Jesus said uh, I came in my Father's name and they received me not. Him that come in his own name. Uh, him, uh, then him that come in his own name, him you shall receive. So again, Joshua came in his own name. Uh, let's go, let's go to the Bible. Let's go to let's go to six 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 in the Bible. So go to the sixth book and the sixth chapter and the sixth verse. Yep, look up six 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 in the Bible. So that's the sixth book. No, no, no. Listen, let's go to, let's look up 666. We're going to code the Bible. So if you look at the sixth book, which is Joshua, and then go to chapter six, and then go to verse six. No, we're, we're going to go to Joshua in the Old Testament. Joshua, the Old Testament. Yep. The book of Joshua. Yeah, Joshua is the son of Nun. And again, your new King James Bible is calling Jesus Joshua. That's the devil trying to Joshua, take his place Joshua, again. Joshua, Joshua, Joshua chapter 6. Yep, so go to uh, verse 6. Yes. Joshua chapter 6, verse 6. Yes. So, Joshua, the son of so, so, Joshua. The son of Nun. You see that? Stop. Stop right there. You see that? Joshua is the son yeah. of Nun. Uh, yeah, I see here. So, Joshua was the son of Nun. He's not the son of God. Yeah, he's the son of Nun. He's not the son of God. So why is it calling why is it calling Jesus Joshua in Hebrews 4 and 8? Your your Bible, they did that on purpose. They're trying to they're trying to trick you. So if you if you go to the yeah. king, if you go to the regular yeah. King James it says Jesus. So go to go to Acts 4, 10, 12. I'm going to go to it in my Bible as well. Acts 4, 10, 12. Because it says in Acts 4, chapter 10, be it known unto you all and to all the people of Israel that by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom he crucified, whom God raised from the dead, even by him, though this man still stand here before you whole. This is a stone... Yeah, Acts chapter 4. Chapter 4. Yep. Verse 10. Okay. Uh, Acts chapter 4, verse 10. 11 and 12. I'm going to read it. So I'm trying to I'm trying to I'm trying to expose the Bible you have because it's calling God Joshua and Joshua is the son of none. He's not the son of God. 
So it says Acts 4. Let it be known. The Bible says that John chapter 4 verse 10. No, it should be, you should be in Acts. Acts 8. Uh, no, yes, Acts chapter 4 verse 10. Let it be known to you all. And to all the people of Israel, that by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom you were crucified, whom God raised from the dead, by him this man stand here before you all. Chapter 2, 11, this is the stone which was rejected by you builders, which has become the chief of cornerstone nor is nor is there salvation in any others from there is no a name and a heaven given among men by which we must be saved yeah and let me read mine it says acts 4 10 11 12 be it known unto you all and to all the people of israel that by the name of jesus christ of nazareth yeah. Whom ye crucified, whom God raised from the dead, even by him doth this man stand here before you whole. This is a stone which was set at naught of you builders, which has become the head of the corner. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. So again, I'm just pointing this out because a Hebrews four and Hebrews chapter four and eight in the King James calls uh calls it g you know it says jesus and your bible says joshua and i showed you in joshua chapter 6 verse 6 that joshua is the son of none so that's why people are accepting the name joshua or even yeshua for jesus because the devil knows that people are going to receive that name and jesus knew it too Jesus said, I came in my father's name and they received me not. But him that come in his own name, him ye shall receive. So that's why you have to get a regular King James Bible, not a new King James. It has errors. So do you believe that gospel? Do you believe that Jesus came unto his own and his own received him not? And that he went to the cross, he died for our sins, and he was buried, he rose on the third day, and he was seen alive? Hey. Yes, I believe. Amen. Do you believe you have to repent to be saved? Yes, I believe. Well, you don't have to repent. That's one thing you're 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 not getting right there because uh Acts sixteen thirty said what what must I do to be saved? And they said believe. So it's not about um it's not about repentance. I can actually read Romans four to you. Um it says Romans four, chapter three. For what said the scripture, Abraham believed God, and it was counted unto him for righteousness. Now to him that worketh is the reward not reckoned of grace, but of debt. But to him that worketh not, but believeth on him that justified the ungodly, his faith is counted for righteousness. Even as David also describeth the blessedness of the man unto whom God imputed righteousness without works. So again, repentance is a work. And uh, that's, you know, you're, you're looking to be justified by the law. And Acts 13, 38, it says that you can't be justified by the law of Moses. So the, the Jew, the Jew, you know, they were assigned to follow the law. They had to get circumcised. They had to get baptized. They had to repent. They had to follow the law. But it says in Acts 13, 38, because Jesus, he fulfilled the law. Romans 10 and 5, he, uh, he fulfilled the law. And once we're in Christ, we fulfill the law as well. All you need to do is believe, and we fulfill the law. So Acts 13, 38, Be it known unto you, therefore, men and brethren, that through this man is preached unto you the forgiveness of sins. So you're forgiven. Jesus, Jesus is preached for the forgiveness of sins. And it says 39, And by him all that believe are justified from all things. So if you don't repent, if you didn't repent, you're justified. It says, and by him, all that believe are justified from all things. Not all, not by him, all that repent. No, it says all that by him, all that believe are justified from all things from which ye could not be justified by the law of Moses. So again, if you repent, you're keeping up the law of Moses and you cannot be justified by the law of Moses. 
according to Acts 13, 39. You hear that? Yes, I'm hearing you. Yeah, I'm, I want you to believe it too, though. So, you know, because again, it says, and by him, all that believe are justified from all things from which ye could not be justified by the law of Moses. So let me ask you again. So do you believe you have to repent in order to be saved? I believe. Let me ask you again. So do you yes, have I believe. So do you have to repent in order to be saved? Yeah, I must to be saved. Well, well, I'm trying to ask you a question about repentance because re repentance is not required. So do you so do you need Yeah, cuz look. Yes. Yeah, yeah, 2 Timothy 2:25, in meekness instructing those that oppose themselves, if God peradventure will give them repentance to acknowledging of the truth. So again, God gives repentance. So it's not required of you to repent. And you have to go back to Ephesians 2 and 8. It says, for by grace are you saved through faith and that not of yourself. So when you say that re is repentance of yourself, is, is repentant, is repenting something that you're doing? Repentance has to be saved. Jesus, Jesus died for us to save us. So I know that we should be repent. No, but there's no verse that says that. I know man has taught you that. I agree. Man has told you that. But what verse, what scripture says that? Tell me, because I'll pull it up. I'll pull it up right here. What scripture says that? Sure, please. sure. Can I ask a, a, a question? Sure. Because I, I read uh, the Bible says that tell us that we must be, we must be saved. And there is, uh, I don't see the one that says we must repent. Because there are some people told us how to repent. How many pastors told, teach us how to repent? But I know if I did a wrong thing, why should I do? What should I do? I must be repent or what shall I do? That one is only my question. Your, what's your question exactly? And the question is, if I do wrong thing, what shall I do as a Christian? Okay, so I can use scripture to answer that question. That's a great question. Because... Because I'm not, I'm not, I'm not telling you that you can sin as much as you want, but technically you can, because we're sealed with that Holy Spirit of promise, but God, he does not want us to sin. He does, he doesn't want us to live in sin. You actually would die faster in the flesh if you live in sin, but you're not going to lose your eternal salvation, which is a spiritual gift. I can show you that with scripture. So, um. Let me go. Let me think uh, where I want to go first. One second. Yes. Um, let's look at Second Timothy. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's look at uh, First John. First John chapter two. Second. No, first. Yes, I, I, I the Bible there. Yeah, it says in it says in First John, chapter two. I, 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 Bible course, I asked him for the Bible. He took my Bible there. Please okay. send me with the Bible there. Sure, I can. I can. If you want, if you want to write down the verse so you can look at it later. And 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 I have a King James. So what shall I do to get another Bible? Well, if you have, there is because there is a difference between King James. Yeah, you have to have a King James, not the new King James. It's that it has errors. So it means so it means that a King James a King James is a, a nice Bible I can I can continue reading or or I can look for another one. Yeah, you gotta find a way. You can download the app for free. Download the free King, King James Bible app on your phone. 
You have a smartphone, right? Uh, streaming, uh, I can download. Yeah. Cost that I will read for, from the Bible. Yeah, download the free app. It's a King James Bible app. Holy Bible. It should be a King James Bible. Not not the new King James. And you have Bible, Bible also is a King James. Yes, it's a King James. That's, that's why my Hebrews 4, and verse 8, it says Jesus. Jesus. That and, and again, that's why my Bible... In Hebrews 4 and 8, it says Jesus, not Joshua. So you have to get the correct one. So let me tell you about... What kind of What kind of phone do you have? To get a Bible is, is so difficult. This Bible is for this Bible I borrowed from from a pastor. Well, can you watch? Have you ever heard of YouTube? Yeah, I need a Bible. Have you ever heard of the app called YouTube, where you can watch videos? I mean, you can watch some of the Bible studies that we're doing with the King James Bible. I can send you my channel in the message. So if you want to click on YouTube, uh, that's one way to, you know, listen in to a Bible study of people, you know, using the King James Bible. Yeah. But uh, yeah, you, can, you can send me the message, so I will, can, I will study the Bible from the message. Yeah, I'll send you the, the, the link. Um, but yeah, definitely try and get your own Bible because that's going to be important to get your own. But you see that there's errors. So you should know that, you know, the Bible you have. I need to read the Bible every day. Yeah, but you don't want to read that tainted one. I mean, if there is a couple good verses, but the rest is bad, I mean, that's not good. It's not good, though. But can I can I just show you real quick in the scriptures about about what you should do as a believer when it comes to doing something wrong? Because let me ask you, are you a child of God? Christian. Well, let me ask you: If you're a child of God, then I'm, you're. And I, I'm, I'm already saved. Well, let me ask. You, I gotta ask you first. You gotta, you gotta listen. So, if you're a child of God, we gotta, you gotta listen because a child of God doesn't need to repent in order to be saved, and we understand that. So well, it's, it says first. It says in First John two, verse one. It says, "My little children." These things I write unto you. Oh, okay. That ye. First John. First, first John 2. Yep, verse 1 and 2. First. Okay. It says, My little children, these things write I unto you, that ye sin not. And if any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous. Amen. And he is the propitiation Amen. for our sins and not. For ours only, but also for the sins of the whole world. So these, so we're children of God. And then it says in John 1, 12. Amen. Yeah, let's look at Amen. John John 1, 11 and verse 12. It says that he came unto his own and his own received him not. But as many as received him to them gave he power to become sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. So again, to become a son of God, you got to believe on his name. So if you believe on the name, you're a son of God. I, I, must, believe, I must believe in his name. To become a son of God. So, so, so you ask me, what if you do something wrong? It says in 1 John 2, 1, it says, My little children, these things I write unto you that ye sin not. So look, it says you shouldn't sin. But it says, it says and if any man sin... We have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous, and he is the protection for our sins, and not for ours only, but also for the sins of the whole world. So again, I don't think, I don't think that one is from the book of First John or I, 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 it is from the book of John or, or Acts. It's it's the book of is there's John and then you have First John. Oh, First John. Yeah, First John two. First John two. 
I believe everything and I thank you for for your word and you may God bless you so much, Pastor. And thank you. I pray God bring I pray God brings the increase in your life. But again, I don't want you to believe, I don't want you to think that repentance is what's going to save you because I have not shown you one scripture that says repent to be saved. And you can't even think of a scripture that says repent to be saved. So again, you've been lied to along the years. I've been lied to too. I just learned about a year ago. So I, again, I've been lied to my whole life and I just started reading the King James Bible after someone preached the gospel to me. And now I know it's not about repentance in order to be saved. It's about belief from the heart on Jesus. It's about believing the gospel. It says that the gospel is the power unto salvation and it's going to perish foolishness to the world that's lost. So that's the power unto salvation, the preaching of the gospel. So that's why I'm preaching to you. So again, Jesus wept. He went into his own. Amen. Yeah, Jesus Amen. wept. Amen. He went into his own and his own received him not. And that's why he paid for all the sins of the world. So if you didn't repent, he paid for that sin, right? If you don't change your mind or change your direction, that's a sin. So he paid for that sin. So you're going to fall short thinking that you have to, you know, repent daily or anything like that or weekly or monthly, whatever. You're going to fall short. It says that we all fall short of the glory of God. It says that Romans 3, 10, uh, Romans 3, 4. Let me go to it. Romans 3, 4. It says that, yea, let God be true, but every man a liar, as it is written. And then Romans ten Romans three ten as it is written there is none righteous no not one yeah Romans chapter three yep Romans chapter three ten yep and then Romans three eleven it says there is none that understandeth there is none that seeketh after God they are they are all going out the way they are together become unprofitable there is none that do of good no not one. So we're not good. So you trying to say, oh, I repented, I repent. You're trying to be good. 3 verse 11. 3 verse 11. The Romans 3 verse 11. Yeah, Romans 3 verse 10, 11, and 12. There is none. Verse 10. Yeah, there is none that do of good, no, not one. So that's why Jesus paid for all the sins of the world. He was. They buried him. He rose on the third day. He was seen. His own people rejected him. The Jews killed him. Jesus came down as a Jew. They killed him. So Jesus. It says, uh, first three, first Timothy three sixteen. God manifested in the flesh. The Bible. The Bible tells us in the book of Romans three verse ten. The Bible tells us as if it's written, there is none righteous. No, not one. There is none who understand. There is none who seek after God. They have all gone out of the way. They have to become unprofitable. There is none who does good. No, not one. Right, so that look. One is from the book of Romans 3, verse 10. To 10 to right and then now let's fast forward go to romans 4 so if if there is no if there is no one righteous how do we become righteous because jesus says that you won't see the kingdom of god the unrighteous will not see the kingdom of god right and it says that there is none that there's none that's do that do of good no not one there's none that's righteous so look at romans 4 romans romans 4 verse 3 it says for what saith the scripture abraham believed god romans 4 verse 3 right verse 3 verse 4 verse 5 and verse 6 for what does the scripture say abraham believed god and it was accounted to him for righteousness now to him who work the way wages are not counted as a grace but as debt that one is Romans 4, verse 3, 4. Yeah, I'm going to read it from mine. It says, For what saith the scripture? Abraham believed God, and it was counted unto him for righteousness. 
now to him that worketh is the award is the reward not reckoned of grace but of debt but to him that worketh not but believeth on him that justifieth the ungodly his faith is counted for righteousness even as david also describeth the blessedness of the man unto whom god imputed righteousness without works so again, your repentance will not save you. That's why I'm trying to get you to believe that. You don't have to repent to be saved. You have to believe. So do you think you have to so do you think you have to repent in order to be saved? I must uh, I must believe. You must believe. Amen. That's the answer. I must believe not, not to repent. Amen. Amen. Thank you. That's what I'm trying to get you to believe. So believe that truly, believe on that gospel truly from the heart. Jesus paid for all your sins. If you didn't repent, if you didn't live right, if you didn't whatever, he paid for that sin. You're covered as soon as you believe, but you have to believe it truly. So believe the full gospel. It says John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. So that's a promise. That's a promise. It's and then let me let me read you this. It says Titus one. Go go to it real quick. Titus one and two, in hope of eternal life, which God that cannot lie promised before the world began. It says, but have but have in due times manifested His word through preaching which is committed unto me according to the commandment of God, our Savior. See, God is our Savior. That's Jesus. And then verse 4 Amen. says, To Titus, my own son, after, the com after common faith, grace, mercy, and peace from God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ, our Savior. So it's identifying the Savior as Jesus Christ. It just called God our Savior in verse 3. So Jesus Christ is our Savior. Jesus Christ is God. gonna go ahead and send you a couple but uh before i let you go let me ask you again do you know for sure if you'll be in heaven yeah all right and why why should god let you into heaven why should i go to the heaven yeah i believe amen and what do you believe i want you to believe the full gospel what's the full gospel i believe for the gospel okay what's the gospel And I'll tell you again, because you, you're, you're doing good. You said that you believe. That's why you should go to heaven. Amen. But what do you believe? Yes. But what do you believe? It says that Jesus went into his own, and his own received him not. So you got to believe that Jesus was rejected by his own people, and that he went to the cross for that yes. reason. He, he went to the cross for that reason, yes. and he died for all the yes. sins of the world, and he was buried, and he I rose on the third day, yes. and he was seen alive. Okay, I wanna I wanna tell you this though, that Jesus coming back is true, but it's not a part of the gospel. So we must believe the full gospel, okay? The gospel is the work that he did for us for us to believe on. So again, he went into his own and he, he was condemned by the Jews. You be, do you believe that? You believe he was killed by the by his own people? I, I believe he's killed. Yeah, do you believe that he was killed by his own people? 
Jesus. Yeah, Jesus was killed by his own people. Yes, he was crucified on the cross and they killed him, his own people. Do you believe that? He killed. Yeah, I believe. I'm going to, I'm going to, I don't want to just, don't believe me, believe the scriptures. So I can go to Acts 13. I can, I can show you in scriptures. Acts 13, um, one moment. Acts 13. Yeah. Yes, one one moment. I'll uh, I'll start reading that to you. Um, yeah, I'll I'll go to Acts Acts thirteen verse twenty three. Verse twenty three. Yeah, and just follow Acts just just follow along. Just follow along from verse twenty three. Yes, let me read it and just follow along, okay? Well, let me, I'll read it. I'll, I'll, I'll read it. I'll go ahead and read it. No, no worries. It says of this man's seed have God, according to his promise, raised unto Israel, a savior, Jesus. And we saw in Titus that God is our savior. That's Jesus. So it says when John had first preached before his coming, the baptism of the of repentance to all the people of Israel. And as John fulfilled his course, you see, the baptism of repentance was to all the people of Israel. That's all the Jews. So we're not Jews. And it says, as John fulfilled his course. So John fulfilled his course. He's he's done preaching that that um, that message. So we're not preaching baptism. We're not pre we're not preaching repentance. So that's done. OK, it says verse 25. And John had and, and as John fulfilled his course, he said, whom think ye that I am? I am not he, but behold, there cometh one after me, whose shoes of his feet I am not worthy to loose. Men and brethren, children of the stock of Abraham, and whosoever among you fear of God, to you is the word of this salvation sent. For they that dwell at Jerusalem and their rulers, because they knew him not, Jesus, they, they didn't know they didn't know Jesus, nor yet the voices of the prophets, which are read every Sabbath day, they have fulfilled them in condemning him. So it says there, for they that dwell at Jerusalem, they have fulfilled them in condemning him. So the people of Jerusalem condemned him. And, and they, it says, and though they found no cause of death in him, yet desired they, the Jerusalem people, Pilate, that he should be slain. So they killed him. To slain somebody is to kill him. And when they had fulfilled all that was written of him, they took him down from the tree and lay him in the sepulcher. So they buried him. But God raised him from the dead. And he was seen many days of them, which came up with him from Galilee to Jerusalem, who are his witnesses to the people. And we declare unto you glad tidings, how that the promise which was made unto the fathers, God had fulfilled the same unto them, us our children, and that he had raised up Jesus again. So if we go down, verse 35, it says, Wherefore, he said also in another song, Thou shalt not suffer thine holy one to see corruption. The holy one, the holy one is in the Old Testament. So that's the same God. So God, Jesus is God. So let's go down to uh, 37. But he whom God raised again saw no corruption. Be it known unto you, therefore, men and brethren, that through this man is preached unto you the forgiveness of sins. And by him... All that believe are justified from all things, which ye cannot be justified by the law of Moses. So again, that's the full gospel. That Jesus went into his own and his own received him not. They condemned him. They they desired Pilate that he slain, that he be slain. So he was killed on the cross. He paid for all the sins of the world when his blood was shed. And he was buried in a sepulchre. But he rose. God raised him on the third day. He raised himself on the third day. And he was seen alive for many days. He had many witnesses that saw him alive. God is the Holy One. God, Jesus is God, the Holy One. Jesus is God the Father. So again, that's the full gospel that we must believe. It's not about, oh, repenting this and that. It's not about living right, nothing about that. It's about believing the full gospel of Jesus and believing that report. And that's why. That's why you should go to heaven. So, 
So that's why I said Jesus was killed by his own people. But God raised him from the dead. All right. So do you believe that message? Do you believe you have to repent? Do you... Okay, and do you believe that you have to repent in order to be saved? Do I believe that I must be saved? Say it again. Do, I, I believe that I must be saved. Yeah, so I'm asking you, do you, yeah, to, in order to be saved, do you got to repent? Right. So, I'm so, so, real quick, I just want to double check. So, so, do you have to repent in order to be saved? No, I'm a child of the Bible says that I'm a child of God because Jesus, Jesus died for us because He kept us already. So, I believe that this, I believe, I believe because. Jesus is the only the only person who died for us, so I must be saved. Amen. And that's what I'm I'm and I want you to Amen. And I want you to try and keep that in memory, that full gospel. So that's good that you don't believe on repentance anymore. That's that's great. So God is God is good for that. So yeah, you, you do not have to repent to be saved. You must believe that Jesus died on the cross for our sins and he was buried and he rose on the third day and he was seen alive. And that his own his own people received him not. That's what you must believe. But all right, you have a great day. I want you to share that gospel. So again, share the full gospel that Jesus died for our sins, but he didn't stay dead. He was buried and he rose on the third day and his own received him not. He was seen alive. All right. All right. I'm going to send you a couple of links, but uh, you have a great day. OK, believe that gospel. Truly. It's not about repentance. Amen. Amen. That's great. You have a great day. And preach to your husband, too. Thank you. No problem. Thank you. Bye.